Hello guys and welcome to a brand new day of Road to TCG World 2018. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. Hello Joe Bro, hello the White Snake. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Appreciate it. So, as you can see on our screen, we currently have um, we currently have Espion Garb, the winning list from Portland Regionals. Hello, Trister Gaming. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we have the Espion Garb list that um, that won the whole regional. It was a 60 card mirror in the final, so that speaks volumes of the list. Um, I myself was testing Espion Garb as well throughout uh, the week before Portland. I talked about it on my article and a few cards different from what Sander ended up running, but no more than five, I believe. Um, so that's pretty cool that um, I was essentially on the right track. And welcome to the new followers, very kind of you guys to be here. And so, so yeah, um, Espion Garb is a tech that has been around for almost a year now. Um, since Guardians Rising came out back in May, um, but it's still it's still pretty good. Um, Espion GX 200 HP, its first attack Psy Beam, dealing 30 and confusing the active Pokemon, is a really cool attack. It's really annoying for a lot of decks to deal with, and then there's a lot of Psychic weakness going around lately. So with a Choice Band, you're dealing 120 damage for a single Energy, which is uh, Quite broken, honestly. <laughs> um, it knocks out the, all the Mew EXs that are out there to counter Buzzle. It deals with Buzzle GX itself uh, very nicely. Um, with a 2-hit KO or Psychic usually is enough to knock them out. Um, we also have Psychic, as I mentioned, 60 damage plus 30 more for every energy your opponent's active Pokemon has attached. So with, 30, with 3 energy, which seems to be close to a norm of what Pokemon will have attached between 2 and 3. Um, and a choice when you're dealing up to 180 damage, which used to be enough to knock out most basics. Um, now things are starting to get more HP, such as 190, 200, 210 range. Um, so Psychic usually comes short, but we do have Divide GX, which allows you to place 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like, which actually allows you to set up um, Psychic knockouts very, very nicely. Um, of course, we are using the Energy Evolution EV, which allows you to evolve immediately after you attach uh, a basic energy to EV. So once we attach a Psychic, we immediately get the Espion out. Now, Espion is combined with a 4-2-2 line of Garbodor. We have Trash Avalanche, that's the card that you guys um, can see that is covered right here, but it, it is the Trash Avalanche Garb. Um, pretty nice card. Dealing 20 damage for every item card in your opponent's discard pile, so it's a soft item lock, if you will. Um, it really helps out um, to limit your opponent's strategy overall, simply because they can't um, they can't deal with that very easily. Um, and most decks are now running heavy item counts once again due to puzzles of time and ultra balls and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it ends up working out very nicely. And then you have the Ability Lock Carbotoxin Carb, which um, offers an Ability Lock against things like uh, Zoark GX decks, things like um, Volcanion EXs, uh, things like Tapu Lele. So Carbotoxin um, is activated by Garbodor having a tool card attached, so either Floatstone or Choice Band works for that purpose. Um, offensive Bomb is an attack, it's very, very expensive to actually use, um, but I'm sure people, I myself, have used Offensive Bomb in the past. Um, the Confusion and Poison definitely helps with uh, the heavy attack cost, um, or the heavy energy cost rather, but its main purpose is to be here with Carbotoxin and a Floatstone, that way we shut off opponent's abilities. Now we also have Drumpa GX, 180 HP basic, uh, Righteous Edge dealing 20 damage and discarding a special energy. 
There are DCs pretty much everywhere, so it's a really cool attack. And then we have Berserk, which deals 80 damage for 3, which is not bad. But then if you have any damage Pokemon on the bench, you get to deal 70 more, which is really, really nice. Uh, with a Choice Band, you're dealing the Magical 180, which sometimes, or most of the time, is enough to knock out. Uh, and if it isn't, then you do have Espion GX to finish things off. And then finally, we have Big Wheel GX, which shovels your hand into your deck, and then you draw 10 cards. So, if you're in a pickle, you get to use Big Wheel GX, and you actually get a ton of mileage out of it. Um, fighting Weakness, of course, not ideal, but it is compensated by the Psychic-type attackers that we do have. And finally, we have Taurus GX, um, also another 180 HP basic. Uh, its first attack rage deals 20 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So opponents will be hesitant to attack Taurus. Uh, then we have Horn Attack with uh, 60 damage for two basic uh, for two colorless energy. So you get to apply quite a bit of pressure um, almost immediately with a TC. And then finally, we have Mad Bull GX. Um, so if your opponents would be hesitant to attack Taurus because of Rage, Mad Bull GX definitely makes them think twice about their attacks, simply because um, Mad Bull GX deals 30 damage for every counter on Taurus. And so, um, when you have 7 damage counters on Taurus, you're essentially one hit KOing pretty much everything in the format, which is a very, very big deal. Um, so yeah, those are the Pokemon that brown out the deck. We do have Triple Tapulele, which is really, really nice um, for consistency, and it's also a pretty good attacker with Energy Drive, and there might be some fringe situations where you would actually want to use Tapu Cure GX, where you get to heal damage from two of your benched Pokemon. Um, but its main purpose is, of course, Wonder Tag and then Energy Drive, dealing 20 damage for every energy Tapulele has, and the opponent's active Pokemon has, it's also a pretty good way to finish things off, or to lead off with damage with a Pokemon that doesn't have any weakness. Um, supporters wise, we have 4N and 4 Guzma, these are the best supporters for this deck, simply because N um, limits what your opponent might be able to do, and Guzma limits, uh, or it lets you choose who you get to attack, which is really cool. Um, then we have Triple Cynthia and Triple Sycamore, so lots of consistency, 10 draw supporters, we have the single Bridget, because this deck doesn't necessarily need the turn 1 Bridget. Um, it's nice to get, but it's not 100% necessary. Um, then we have 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Choice Band, and 4 Floatstone. Ultra Ball allows us to find the right Pokemon for uh, the situation. 4 Choice Band add to our damage total, and then 4 Floatstone allows us to retreat the heavy retreaters such as Taurus, Trampa, and Garbotoxin, but also, most importantly, activates Garbotoxin. Um, finally, we have Double Parallel CD to limit our opponent's bench, most likely, or sometimes reducing damage could actually be very beneficial. And the Parallel CD um, limit, limiting bench thing can be used uh, to your side to actually get to remove damaged Pokemon from the field and remove potential prizes for your opponent. Um, double Field Blower, because it not only removes tools from your opponent, therefore removing utility from them, but also adds to the item count in your opponent's discard pile. And finally, the single Supra to recover energy and Pokemon that we may have lost along the way. 4 DCs and 7 basic Psychics to power up our attackers. And so, let's jump into the ladder and see how we can fare with this deck. So, Espion Carpenter, let's see what we can do. Um, I did want to stream this deck the other day um, when I came back from Portland, but we didn't have enough time. So today I will be trying to feature Espion and Greninja, um, the Greninja list that has been doing well so far. And wow, I'm actually up against Tristar. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm actually up against Tristar. Um, uh, Tristar is the account of um, one of the people that I coach. So uh, Greg was here, sorry, I, missed, I think I missed your message. Um, could I play? Um, I won't play it in this stream, but I do know that people are interested in seeing Passimian decks, so I will definitely be checking that out. And the White Snake, <laughs> as always, thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. As always, thank you so, so much. You always start off the stream with bits, <laughs> which is very nice. And hello, Cool Kid, thank you so much for being here. So, yeah, we are up against what seems to be a Turbo Dark type of deck. Um, 
So we get triple mulligans off of our opponent. Oh, this is Gothlord. Okay. Um, Gothlord will be fun to deal with. Um, I feel like Confusion could be really good uh, if it eats up a lot of um, item cards with Eat Sloppily. I could actually get some mileage out of Trash Lunge. Um, I feel like it might be worth it to get another Lele though, because Lele is gonna be great to just two hit KO the the Gosslord. Um, it deals exactly 180, so the extra HP from Espion will be pretty nice. Um, the Confusion will be pretty nice as well. I doubt we will need to. Um, I doubt we will need to lock out abilities here, so I'm just gonna pass. And cool kid. Um, it's on Fridays when I play against uh, viewers, so if you wanna come back um, tomorrow, well, like if you're here tomorrow, um, I will be live streaming tomorrow for sure. I'm hoping to do a very long live stream. And okay, so four energy on the Gosslord. Um, I can either smack the Gosslord right now or. I mean, I could smack it with Lele, I could confuse it, or I could just psychic it. Um, I feel like this is a more conservative and potentially better route. We do see that um, they do run Choice Band. Um, I do have the DC already, so I'm gonna touch it there and I'm gonna Cynthia. Um, I'm counting on Confusion and uh, the extra HP from Espion allowing us to get extra hits in. Um, I know my opponent will have a big bench, so I'll just get the Prowl CD out of the way. Uh, these two attackers are actually very underwhelming. And Javoxa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for that. Very, very kind of you. Um, Ultra Wall for Lele, just because I might need an extra attacker. Um, <laughs> Ace, thanks so much for being here. And was Choice Plus DC not a KO? No, because it has Psychic Resistance. Um, so that's why it wasn't a KO. Um, right? It's 60 plus 30, so 60 plus 120, 180 to 10 minus 20, 190. So just outside of, um, of range because of resistance. And Javoxa, thank you so much for the beats. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so they do have the Guzma in their hand. They will flip heads on my Lele. So now we all we need is a DC to to win the match here. Um, maybe I should have attached the DC to the Espion. Uh, that would have possibly been a better play. Um, it just if they had a choice band and I attacked. Um, I guess I would have left the uh, Gosslord at 20 HP from getting knocked out. So, meh. Um, we get the DC, so that will be game. So, yeah. Psychic dealing 190 damage. That's why... Oh, 220. Oh, 220 because they, uh, they have the 5th energy now. If they had attached the 5th energy with its Lovely, um, it would have been fine. And Tapu Lele's attack ignores resistance, but just outside of Top Cut was uh, talking about using Espion GX's psychic attack, uh, which that attack doesn't ignore resistance. Um, so yeah, uh, just outside, ooh, we got the computer search, <laughs> our fifth computer search. Um, just outside Top Cut was talking of using Espion GX's psychic attack. Um, Hello Jack, thank you so much for being here. Um, but yeah, Tapulele's attack does not apply weakness. Um, fun fact, when Tapulele came out, um, there was a lot of Espion Carpenter going around and people, in every video, um, in every video we would, um, we would get, uh, or I would get someone commenting, um, I would get someone commenting that uh, why didn't I use Tapu Lele to knock out an Espion or something like that? Um, and most like recently someone asked on a video like why why don't you use Tapu Lele to knock out um, To knock out Puzzle <laughs> um, 
Redog Manu, what's the best theme deck right now? I generally have no idea what the what the theme deck meta game looks like. I generally have no no idea. Okay, so we seem to be up against a mirror match. Now I wouldn't mind flipping heads for acid spray here. That would be a pretty nice way to lead off the game. Or I could be more conservative and search for a floatstone and then evolve into Eevee and try to confuse the Drumpa. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go the more conservative route. Flipping heads here would have been very fun, but I'm just gonna Layla for Bridget, I'll get out Espion, and then we'll take it slowly. We will take it slowly against um, our opponent here. Uh, we'll get the double Eevee. Uh, Eevee will be pretty good in this mirror. I don't think Taurus will be. And then we need the extra Trubbishes. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know they don't do it uh, intentionally. Like, they, they are generally confused. They see Psychic type, they see the attack, and then they ask, well, why aren't you taking a knockout? Uh, which is fair. Um, you, we can't expect everyone to be extremely well informed on every little uh, detail and aspect of the game. So, uh, especially with newer players, we have to be more uh, more patient and and take the time to explain things, right? Okay. So there's a Lele for my opponent. Am I going to Madison Regionals? Yes, I am going to Madison Regionals. Greg was here. I am going to Madison Regionals. Um, nothing should be stopping me from going. Um, I actually applied to commentate the Regional, uh, but I was turned down. So I'll be playing in it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I know I need to... Um, no excuses, read the cards. <laughs> um, I know I need to... I need to... Ooh, big wheel. That's pretty good because we have the end. Um, very good for us. Uh, I know I need to register soon because the price goes up. Um, so this deck isn't your cup of tea. Um, I know. I, it's understandable that this deck is not um, appealing to some people. But it did just win. Um, <laughs> your boss all, almost cut you off task. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad he didn't. Okay, he or she didn't. Um, okay, so I could attach the DT to the Trowish to retreat it. Um, I'm definitely ending here. Zero item cards. I don't feel like attaching the DT to the Espion. I'm actually gonna attach it to a Lele. So I'm taking a risk here that I might not get the Floatstone. Um, and I did not get the floatstone. Okay, so I not I did not get any tool. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass here, and then we'll see what my opponent does. Um, very passive turns on our side. <laughs> Table one is greater than your job. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, this was awesome till Guardi came out. Yeah, Guardi definitely put a big dent on this deck's um, potential. Ooh, that parallel hurts. Definitely the Eevee. I feel like a Trubbish. I already invested into the Lele. That was a that was a good parallel for my opponent. That was good timing on his parallel. If I had gotten the parallel, then he would have only lost a Lele. But okay. He definitely doesn't want to commit another energy to the Drumpa because otherwise we would be able to knock it out. Um, with a Choice Band, we would now actually have Knockout on this Espion. And we might actually have to um, have to commit to being aggressive against that Espion. And Manchas, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for the cheers. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Um, I have not tried Silvali Dust My Necrozma yet. Oh, Dust... No, yeah, I have. There's already a video on it. Um, there's already a video on Dust My Necrozma on the channel if you if you wanna check it out. I did make a video 
on it. We played on the stream and then I did make a video. Okay, so I feel like I definitely need to Kuzma the Espion. Espion is a bigger threat here, I feel. Um, I can confuse the Espion, uh, then Drampa would come and attack me for a lot of damage. So I'm gonna attach the Psychic here. And I'm just gonna side him, unfortunately. So now, I mean, if he commits a lot of energy to a Drampa, I feel like I'm okay with that. Um, because I would be able to potentially knock it out. Um, it had Zorg. It had Zorg. It was a top 64 list. Ooh, he's committing to the Espion. The opponent is committing to knocking out my Espion here, but he flips Tails. That's awesome. Okay, that was a big commitment. Um, and he flipped Tails, which is great for us. So now I get to do this. I have yet to play a single item card. Uh, same for my opponent, but this will uh, put a choice ban in his discard pile. Uh, we do get the super out, which could be nice to recover these two Pokemon. But for now, I'm just gonna Psychic. And now, um, Drampus damage is now lowered because he has nothing damaged on the bench. Uh, we get two prize cards and we are one choice one away from knocking out a powered up Drumpa. So what we might see is a Righteous Edge, which is fair. Uh, but confusing the choice one to Drumpa is also pretty good. Um, you've, been you've been testing Lucario GX lately. And yeah, the Natural Surge in Espion Garb is definitely annoying to deal with. Um, I don't agree with this for my opponent. He committed the energy, but he also only used... Righteous Edge. Uh, I definitely don't agree with that play. So I did top deck the DC, so I can't commit. I feel like it's worth it to commit here. If I get a knockout here, I'm just gonna be in such a good position. Um, I'm gonna Ultra Ball this and the Parallel CD. I'm gonna grab Trash Challenge. I'm gonna set it up here. Uh, because I could be putting the second item card into my opponent's discard pile. And then I feel like I will super up. Um, the Trubbishes and the AV do seem worth it. Uh, getting back. That DC on the Espion feels a bit of a waste though. And then I'm just gonna Sycamore. So now there's extra item cards. <sighs> well, actually there's only two. But wow, I can't believe I did not get... Like, I did not get a single tool card. Let, like, let alone choice band, I did not get a single tool card. Um, I generally wasn't a fan of the Zorak version, no. Um, what's your opinion on Zorak Guardi or Golisopod Garb? Um, okay, I'm gonna Field Blower this and this. He still doesn't have Knockout on the Espion, though. That's really cool. And then I'm just gonna Psychic, because then, potentially next turn, I can use um, Divide GX to get three prizes, two, one on Trubbish and two, two on Drumpa. Um, although it's likely that he will Righteous Edge again, which I'm fine with, because then uh, Psybeam can still get the knockout. And now my opponent has four, three item cards to my three as well. One, two, three, yeah. Um, so what's my opinion on Zora Garb or Galizabud Garb? Um, Zora Guardi or Galizabud Garb? Zora Guardi is still a pretty good deck. Um, it's just there's so much Zora hate in the format right now that it seems to have taken a backseat um, in the meta, but it is still a pretty decent deck. And Galizabud Garb, I don't particularly like it. Um, I like it with the rainbows and trash lash, but it's just it's really really clunky. Um, it's clunkier than this because. It doesn't have energy evolution. It doesn't have big wheel GX. Um, it's just not uh, not too reliable. And okay, so we see a, a defensive Kuzma. So that should be game here for my opponent. Um, I hope that I will be able to get um, something going here. Um, I definitely won't be setting up Carbotoxin, so I don't even need the other Travishes. So. That super rod was actually not a very good play, I guess. Um, we do find a floatstone, but we do not. We do not find a um, a choice band. I have no idea where my choice bands are. 
But for now, I'm gonna divide GX. I'm gonna place three damage counters on the Drumpa, completely eliminating it. And then seven counters on Trubbish. Um, Goldsmith version seems better if you play the non GX. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, both picks are okay, but um, but like if you're choosing between the, those two, I feel like um, um, I feel like uh, Zora Guardian would be a lot more reliable um, if your intention was to win a tournament. Um, do you think Espion Garb is a good call for upcoming Cops or tournaments? Um, I do. I actually do. Um, I don't think many people have adapted yet uh, to using for Field Blower uh, in their Zoark lists, so that's good for Espion Garb. Um, an N plus Garbotoxin can be devastating against every deck, no matter what. Um, and then, because it's uh, only weak to itself, essentially, um, like, sure, Mew X can deal with you, but you also can deal very easily with a Mew X. So, um, I do feel like it's a strong choice. I do feel like it's worth uh, building. Okay, so there's Trash Alange. Um, we won't be able to win this turn. Uh, but, like, we're one Kuzma away from winning. We have two left. And uh, now we do have choice bands. Um, I'll just deal as much damage as I can here. And I can just attach an extra energy here. I can thin cards that are not Kuzma. I don't care anymore about how many item cards are in my deck. Um, all I care are about the two Kuzmas. And then I feel like I'm just gonna Sycamore again here. Uh, because if my opponent attacks me, that means he attacked with Carbiter, that means I don't need the Hoopa. I mean, not the Hoopa, the Kuzma. So, all the Guzmas are still there. Um, I'll discard these two things. Why not? Oh, I didn't click on the parallel. Oops. Um, I'll play this here. I'll play this here. I will also do this. Like, I'm just throwing away cards that are literally not Kuzma. Because all we need is Kuzma to win. Either this turn or next turn. Wait, do I even have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Oh! I just have Knockout. <laughs> I didn't realize... Uh, I didn't realize my opponent went... Uh, discarded so many item cards, so yeah. <laughs> Trash Alange is enough. I hadn't realized that. Um, I was not bad mannering. I just I hadn't realized. Um, yeah, I think Espion Garp um, will, be ba will be back as part of the meta. And guys, are you seeing any stuttering on the? Are you seeing any stuttering on the stream? If you are, please, please, please let me know. Um, uh, you're still pretty hyped on Lucario, but you're probably gonna build Espion Garb now just in case. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, I think Lucario um, unfortunately has to take a backseat just now and second image uh gg sorry sorry i didn't um realize <clears throat> that i had knockout um uh jack why no potown um yeah no potown is uh because drumpa is not your main attacker um uh parallel cd is just a lot more reliable and a lot more a lot stronger in the current meta um it's a good uh, thing to have against Zorg and Drumpa dealing that extra 70 is nice, but there aren't that many targets anymore that Drumpa can one hit KO with that. Um, this is Drumpa Garb Espion indeed. Uh, stream is looking pretty clean. Okay, I'm glad. Thank you guys. Um, how does Espion Garb beat Zorog? Um, it, I mean, all Zorg decks are tough matchups for Espion Garb, uh, but there's so much other hate for Zorg that that made it uh, see less play overall. Um, at the last tournament in Portland, and also N plus Garbotoxin usually makes them dead draw for a bit. Um, so that's usually a good way to to deal with a deck. Um, like you beat the deck by making them whiff, that's how you do it. Um, so you discard energy with Righteous Edge, you Prowl CD them to discard resources, you uh, lock down their abilities so that they can trade. All of that comes into into play. So we do have Bridget, but I did top the Espion, and the other Espion is prized. Oh. 
Ah, uh, come on. Top deck Espion. Okay, so because of that, I might actually just attach the energy to the Drumpa. Would have been really nice to just confuse that Volk immediately. Uh, but the top deck Espion doesn't allow us to do that. Um, Trumpa, another Travis. Taurus could also be pretty decent here um, against these baby bulks. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on the Trumpa and I will pass. I'm hoping that my opponent attacks into a Travis but doesn't knock it out. Um, Lucari GX in Garchomp is really good. He can attack for you if you miss on turn 2 Garchomp. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Uh, Lucari GX does seem like a decent addition to Garchomp decks for sure. Um, okay, so my opponent... Oh, wait. What? Max Potion and DCE. Why would you play DCE? It doesn't work for Turgenator. I mean, it works for Shell Trap, but there's Volk. My opponent needs his hand to be um, another Volk and two Fires to knock out this Trubbish. So I generally wouldn't mind if he attacks me, um, hoping to hit a DC off of this Cynthia. There's this team up, that's fine. Hmm. The fact that we top deck the Espion also means... Um, that, also <laughs> that also means that since we're gonna evolve from the hand, we get uh, Potown damage. And wow, the White Snake, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for the extra bits. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. You guys are too kind to me. Thank you so, so much. Um, oh, wait. Uh, one. Oh, yeah, I don't have Knockout on Volcanion. Um, even with the damage, because uh, it's not a GX. So I would need the Field Blower as well. Um, <laughs> it is not a Pro Bowl coming from a pro bulk fair enough okay so i'll attach the choice one to the espion i do want to shut off abilities uh we get 30 more damage but that's fine um two item cards already which is good and then we did not hit um we did not hit a dc so that is ends up being irrelevant i'll just confuse the volcanian um to make it less uh, useful and yeah, it could be Silvali. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, the deck box and the DCs probably indicate Silvali. <laughs> the White Snake, thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so we see another Fighting Fury belt. That's fine. We see an N. I'm okay with that. Um, Field Lore is going to be pretty crucial. Um, Trash Alanche will probably end up being very crucial as well. Pal CD would also be very nice. Um, and there's the Tails. So, good enough. And yeah, I, I when we tried out Silvaldi uh, in Volcanion, like, it just never got any use. So I agree that I think you're better off just running... Um, you are better off uh, running... Um, what's the name? Uh, just regular switching cards, Floatstone, Switch, even Escape Rope, and then definitely Guzmas, or Guzmas. So I sent you to conserve some resources. I don't get any energy to attach this turn, which is really sad, and I don't get a draw supporter either. I can feel lore. I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. No reason not to. And hello, Felipe. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, guys, um, I made a post on on Facebook today, but I'm probably going to be stopping Spanish content overall. Like Spanish streams and Spanish content is just um, the the return of investment is just not there. Um, the the videos barely get any views lately. Um, the streams definitely have less people as well. So I think uh, for my uh, growth and the Tablemon uh, channel's growth, um, I feel like I'm going to be stopping Spanish content overall, which means that there will be more content, um, more content in English, right? Um, there will be, like, that will mean there will probably be videos on Saturdays and Sundays as well. 
Uh, okay. So my opponent took a knockout with Shell Drop, which is very good for him. Um, I feel like the extra damage probably won't matter. Um, Volcanion can attack twice in a row, so getting out of the active is needed. Yeah, I I think definitely not playing for Kuzma in in Espion. I mean, not <laughs> not in Espion. In Volcanion is a big mistake. Um, hello, Ria. Thanks so much for being here. Um, one, two, three. I don't have to keep track of items. Okay, so I have Lele to get a supporter. Um, probably Sycamore, I would say. The Superad isn't too valuable, so I'm just gonna Sycamore away. Um, <laughs> you enjoy watching Spanish content. Uh, thank you, Greg. It's just... Um, the return of investment in terms of time put into streaming and producing the videos and like the the reciprocate oh uh i don't really need to shut up abilities that much one two three four um okay so i definitely won't be using taurus here and i guess i'll super out back um the garbo toxin and the trubbish not so not the EV. Um Philippe, do you think Zorak deck's still great with Lucario out there? Yes, because Lucario gets countered by Espion Carb, Espion Carb. Hopefully he gets countered by four Zor four field blower Zorak decks. Um, so you get a nice circle there. And I'll attach the energy to the carb and then we'll stick a more here. Um, okay, so you get yet another field blower. Um, we can actually Evolve into the trash challenge carb. I mean carbotoxin carb once again I'm gonna save the field lore for now. I don't mind the proton damage honestly. I really don't um, I will shut off abilities because why not and then let's just side beam here uh, For 60 we get 80 back. That's okay because with another energy my opponent was still going to knock out Despian It's not like this puts me in range of a shell trap knockout um, and then if, if he flips heads, fine. If he doesn't, then that would be great. Um, haven't been able to watch in a while. Thank you so much, Tugi. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, for being here. I appreciate it. And Jobro, should you run four field blowers now in Bikabulu? Probably a good idea to start running four field blowers and stuff. Um, okay, so still four item cards. But my opponent has nothing powered up. He does take the three prizes, that is fine. Um, losing the treasure lunch off of the Sycamore would not be ideal. Oh, but we won't have to. Uh, if we want to take a knockout, we will be losing. So, do I even bench the challenge? I won't have treasure lunch anymore. I won't have treasure lunch. Um, 60 damage, I mean. I'm gonna say come right away. Anyways, I need to find a DC now. I, I haven't seen a single DC. I don't know how many are priced. Um, I don't... I don't need to play the Trubbish. There's no threat of another Trash Lunge. Um, so I'll just say come right away. Keep the bench space open. How? How? Come on. <laughs> how does this happen? Three DCs in my last 14 cards. I understand that one is priced, but how have I not seen a single DC? If I took knockout here, I would be in complete control of the game. Uh, it's not like the Proud CD is even helping me that much. Um, I'll discard one of my Lele's. That was so sad. So like I want, I want a big wheel here. 20, 50 more damage doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So I'm gonna big wheel because I also want N. Yeah, best seven cards ever indeed. Um, in just a card, will I be doing a Zoro Rock deck soon? Um, I have Zoro Rock in the channel for sure. Um, I could, I could do. Um, it's definitely on my to do list to uh, get an update going. Um, so yeah, 
I can definitely work that into the, the schedule. I know I want to do Passimian, I want to do a spread deck with Cocos and Muse and Tapuleles, and I want to do Zork Lycanroc once again, um, with like four field lowers and stuff. Okay, energy to type null. I need my opponent to flip tails now. <laughs> yeah, PTCGO does weird pairs of cards indeed. That was so weird though, like... That was worst case scenario. My opponent flipped heads on the attack and I whiffed the DC. So now... Like, we're gonna heavily rely on Drumpa just running over my opponent. Um, five item cards now, so 100 damage for Tri Challenge. This Drumpa has to carry us through the game big time though. No. He flips heads on Nitro Tank. Yikes. Uh, yeah, Felipe. I mean, there's already Zoro Rock videos on the channel if you guys want to check them out. Um, Okay, so double heads for my opponent, so everything going wrong here. We're gonna need this N to carry us. Between N and Drampa, we need that to carry us. I hope he commits energy to the Turgenator. Like, maybe he just assumes I don't have... Yeah, he committed energy. Oh, he didn't have that many discarded. That's actually really good. Okay, so then um, I will do this, and then I will end here. So we are at the mercy of... Um, top decks most likely after this end. Well, no, uh, I guess I am getting six cards. My opponent only gets three, no abilities. Um, already discarded uh, two TCs, so hopefully Seal Valley is not that big of a threat immediately. Um, we get a DC <laughs> and an Espion. Um, we might have to aggressively target down this type null. Um, did that, did this, like, Volcanion right now is dealing zero damage because of Parallel CD, so that's fine. Um, the big threat is a Type Null, so we want to target that down as soon as possible. And my opponent just discarded an item card with no use, which is great, that's 6 now. So Trash Alliance is up to 120 or 150 with a Choice Band. And Zoro Rock and Expanded is definitely very good as well. And my opponent gets the Sycamore off of the end to three. So he did lose another item card though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven item cards. And did not bother benching around Guru. I assume my opponent doesn't play Field Blower then. Ooh, Ultra Ball, great. He's gonna get Silvali GX here. Uh, but there's a chance that Silvali GX will simply be in range of getting knocked out. Um, either way, I think I have to lead. Um, I have to Guzma attack it. Um, since Scarb hasn't been played that much in the past little bit, do you notice that people aren't watching item counts anymore? Um, yeah, I do agree that uh, people were less careful with their item counts. Um, less careful whilst playing and also um, including more items in their decks. Um, Uh, which Zoro Rock? Oh yeah, there was definitely one Zoro Rock video that didn't have puzzle, uh, but I'm sure I've made an updated one. Um, the Zoro Rock will kind of compete for DC and the strong energy can be clunky. Uh, yeah, I agree. And hello Alan, thank you guys so much for being here. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 item cards, that means we get to deal with the Silvali, and then Whichever Pokemon doesn't end up getting knocked out, be it Garbodor or uh, Drampa, will be able to deal with Volk. Because even if I lose the uh, Garbodor, this uh, other Garbodor has damage on it, so um, Drampa will be able to Berserk for a knockout. Uh, so we don't need N anymore. Uh, we only need a Guzma. Uh, if we had gotten DCs earlier, we definitely would have won much earlier as well. And, and yeah, I mean, Zorak Lucario still made top 8 at the last regional in his first uh, weekend of being legal, so I think it's 
I think it's a card we will definitely be seeing more of soon. Do you think Zoro Garb is viable? I personally don't like it. Um, I personally don't like Zoro Garb. I was very hyped on it, but then in the end it just didn't end up working out uh, for me. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, so Lele can't get a knockout, but Trampa can, so that should be good enough, and Lil Sis Latias is 4 Mallow enough for your Zoro Ninja, um, <laughs> I would say 4 Mallow is way too much for your Zoro Ninja, but um, that's not up to me, uh, I would say 2 is probably enough uh, for that meme deck. <laughs> okay, so, got another win, pretty good. So let's do one more match of Espion Carp. No, I think I'm gonna leave it here with Espion Carp, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you're watching live with me on Twitch, do not go anywhere. The stream is not over. Now we are moving on to Greninja, um, the list that got top four at uh, Charlotte and then top 16 in Portland uh, by Joey Rudiger, who's been on a super hot streak <laughs> for the past few tournaments. And so, yeah, um, don't go anywhere, I will be right.